So now that we have our backend less set up and it's working, let's go to our Firebase and see what we need to do in order to set up Firebase for our application. Uh, so let's go to Firebase dashboard and let's go to quick start guide of Firebase as well. So here we have an option to select our iOS quick start guide and the create account. We have already done this. CocoaPods setup and if you don't know how to use the CocoaPods again here is the link how to get the CocoaPods and then it's uh, it's uh, directing us how to create a pod file so we cd to our project directory which we already have done and we create a pod file in it says in our pod file we need to say pod firebase and this part of the code it basically specifies the version of the firebase we want to install if you don't specify this part it will automatically download the latest version of firebase uh, which in our case is the latest version which is 2.5.0 because we didn't specify any version then we say coco pods install and uh, we are opening our project through the xcode workspace this we have done and uh, if we go back to our pod file and open it as you can see apart from the firebase we have uh, also installed the jsq message view controller which is the message uh, view library that uh, if we go to github and search for jsq view controller and there is the library and uh, this library is uh, written by uh, jesse squares here we can uh, read about this library we can see some pictures how the application looks if we use these libraries uh, what uh, functionality it has there is also documentation about this uh, library so you can uh, go read if you are more interested in this there is a getting start guide uh, unfortunately this library is in objective c as well so we are going to use our bridging header to use uh, to link the Objective C code with our X code and our Swift code, so we will be able to use the Swift with uh, with Objective C. So to set up this and to set up our Firebase here uh, in Firebase it says getting started in X code. So in Objective C we are going to say uh, pound sign import uh, Firebase header and for Swift it says import Firebase wherever we need it and for some reason the for Swift code doesn't work so since we have already created our bridging header file actually we don't didn't create we are using the one from the backend list let's go to our bridging header which is in lib folder backend list includes and this is the one with the media bridging header so here we have import backendless.h and backendless uh, this uh, media service of backendless so we are going to paste import firebase and uh, we are going to paste the uh, jsq headers as well so let's go down here let's find where it is let's go to getting started guide and here it is so it says import jsq view controller jsq message dot h and it says imports all the things so let's copy this Go to our Xcode and in our bridging header file, we are going to import the JSQ message libraries as well. So right now we should be able to use our Firebase, our backendless, and our uh, JSQ message libraries as well.